But don't ever put your kids out there to do your work. Your children are not your employees. And the kid wouldn't have any benefit to that except possibly getting sick or snatched up. Hey, hi, girl. What's up? Okay, so let's address the elephant in the room. No, I did not swallow something I should not have swallowed. Little nasty! No, but in all seriousness, though, I said it on Instagram. I put a podcast out about it if you care to listen. My husband and I have contracted the coronavirus. It's been less than fun around here, <laughs> but we have a schedule, and I told you guys I'm going to be uploading three times a week, and I'm going to stick to that. So if you don't know me, hi, my name is Margaret Angel. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I greatly appreciate it. On my channel, I post anti-MLM, beauty, humor, and whatever is on my mind type of content. So if that interests you, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload, and let's get into the video. Hey, hi, girl. What's up? All right, girl. Now, one thing I miss is when I was a child. I don't know about you, but a thousand years ago when I was little, I really enjoyed playing hopscotch with my friends, jumping rope, I didn't have a tablet, I didn't have a phone. Times were different then. I was really just a child in the element with my friends having a good time. Now, times are different now. You have kids that know how to use iPhones and tablets better than you and I combined. It's not what, what a lot of us grew up in when we were younger, you know? And no shade to that whatsoever. I'm just saying that it's different. And one thing that is also imperatively different is the fact that we have parents that use their children to gain in their MLMs. This video is going to be probably one of the most disturbing that I've done in a while, but it needs to be addressed. We need to be able to sit down and have a discussion about what is actually instilling a business mindset in a kid and then what is actual child exploitation. I'm not saying that is the people in this video that I'm going to be mentioning, but it raises an eyebrow. So let me stop rambling. Let's get into the video. So the first one, family friend on Facebook uses disabled children to manipulate people into buying into her legging scheme. I have a family friend who I've known for years. She used to be an amazing photographer for newborn children, something she absolutely loved doing and made great pay off of it. She had one child who was the cutest little girl born with a form of Down syndrome. Husband was slash is military and gone a lot too. She never used to complain about her child and she was the light of her life. Flash forward about two years after her daughter, she has a son. Early on, they found out he had some issues like hearing and anger and now diagnosed autism. She joins a very well-known legging MLM scheme and starts making posts advertising her leggings and inviting people to her page, the usual. Cue her venting about how she wants to lose weight, get fit, etc, etc. And then how extremely hard it is being a mom with children who have disabilities. Almost a year and a half after she announces she is pregnant again, it ends up being a boy who has constant seizures and a heart problem. She often posts on her MLM and regular page how much each pair of leggings helps her so much for her children and their disabilities and practically begging people to buy. Every post is a picture of one of her children and her talking about how hard it is, especially now in her money struggles and body fitness goals and how much MLM has changed her life and let her be with her kids. She has since had two more children and one is also diagnosed with autism and the other is still a newborn she announced today. Surprise. And has a child almost once every year. She has not made any steps to her fitness goals. She chooses to put any child she bears at risk because clearly there's something linked to her and her kids with disability disorders and having health problems. It's just infuriating to me. She makes posts all the time about taking her child slash children to the hospital and asking people to check out her leggings inventory. I'm betting on next year's child. That would be number six. Wow. Okay, so here's a fact about me. I have one sibling, my older brother, he's autistic. So I remember my mom a lot of times being frustrated and being upset that she could not help him like she wanted to help him. Sometimes there's a, a social barrier there. You know, you can't have that, that, that conversation that she could have with me, she couldn't have with him. There was always these leaps and bounds that she had to go through to try to get through to him, which can be very frustrating for a parent because you don't always know what your kid needs because they can't verbalize it how they want to. My brother is verbal, but sometimes there's still those lines that blur. However, as a parent, it is your job to protect your children 
It is your job to make sure that your kids have their basic necessities, that they are loved, that they are welcome, that they are valued, that they are heard. I don't know this person to say that they don't care about their kids. I sincerely think that she does. When you have this lineage of children and they're having all of these developmental problems, that's not right for you to use their disabilities when they can't vocalize, hey mom, I don't feel comfortable with this. That's not right for you to use their disabilities to gain in your MLM. You say the MLM saved you, but at the same time, you're struggling so hard with money. My heart really does go out to you with that because I know that's not easy. I don't have to be in your shoes to know that you probably sometimes wanna pull your hair out because there's so much going on at once. At the same time, it is not correct for anybody to ever use their child, especially a child that really can't speak up for themselves. It is so wrong to use that kid to promote anything. Oh, you know, my baby's sick and everything like that. A lot of times people do a GoFundMe and that makes a lot of sense. If you need help, say you need help, but don't try to push these ugly <laughs> leggings on people while using your babies to make them feel bad enough to purchase for you. And then think about it. Are you having all of these children to make the sob story even greater? I would hate to think that that's it, but nothing surprises me in 2020. You really do have people out here that have had children just so they can gain an MLMs, just so they can get money from whoever. Children should never be your segue to your meal ticket. It is your job to provide for them. You don't use them and then make a sob story for others to feel bad and then purchase from your MLM. Your MLM that still keeps you broke because you constantly say, I'm having money problems. I'm constantly taking them to the doctor. I don't know what to do. It seems like the business that you're involved in is not compensating you for what you need. What you're making and your actual needs, there, there's not a balance there. My heart goes out to this person. Step one, I would assume of any mother is to not use your children to personally gain. All right, girl, you know how I feel about essential oils. I personally use essential oils. I love them dearly. This site right here, Revive, if you go there and you get essential oils from them, they're literally a direct knockoff of the MLM essential oils and half the price. I use them properly. I don't ingest them. I don't sit here inhaling them like crazy. I use them properly with a carrier oil or I diffuse them. Now. I've said many a times, and I've shown you many clips of people just using essential oils improperly. Yeah, that actually happened. One thing that really makes my blood boil is when people use essential oils with little ones, you know, babies. This video was posted on TikTok. I want you to look at this, and I want you to tell me in the comments what you think about this. Right, so many things come to mind with that. What the fuck? There's a lot that goes through a mother's mind when her kid is crying. What's going on? Do you need to be fed? Do you need to be changed? Are you just crying for the sake of being heard? <laughs> a lot of things go through your mind when your child is crying. I can't, I don't know any mom, and I know a lot of moms, I can't think of anyone that would just grab the essential oil bottle and then wave that in front of the kid's face. So the child did calm down in the video. Let's talk about that for a minute. So, you know babies are what, easily distracted? So the baby could have saw something just moving in their face and be like, mom, what the hell is that? Like, why do you keep moving this in my face? And then stop crying. Or the child caught a whiff of that and didn't know how to react and just stop crying. There are many theories the baby cannot tell us how they felt during that moment. Here's my thing, okay? Whatever you do with your kids is your business. However, when you have a little one like that, your doctor should be your best friend. Anything you do to calm your baby down, any move you make, you should have cleared or you should know whether or not you should be doing that. When you put something like that on the internet, and let's say you have a mom and her baby has colic, so she's been stressed out, this child has been crying, hooping, hollering, doing the whole nine, and she doesn't know what to do. She sees that, mom sees that, and then she's like, you know what? Maybe this is gonna be my end all be all with this. Maybe this is gonna help my baby. So mom buys that and A, maybe she thinks it works for her kid, even though it hasn't been proven by anything scientific to say that that actually works with the child or baby. Or B, she uses it, the child has a reaction. Let me be very clear, 
allergens are in damn near everything. Essential oils are such a dense, highly extracted part of a plant. It is very, very scary to use that with a newborn, with a little one, someone that already has a compromised immune system. You can't even give a baby honey until they are a toddler. Something as raw and pure as honey, you can't even give a baby. And then the, the description. Did you see that girl? She said the oil molecules hits the baby's brain. Y'all hear something? No. No. Hell no. Your brain is under this. See me? Look, I have this fake up on. I have a skull. And then my brain is under there. Oil molecules don't hit the brain. It doesn't make the neurons automatically jump up and be like, oh, be calm. There's no way that anything like this can hit your frontal cortex. That doesn't happen. Think about the people that would see this that are already going through so much stress with their babies, right? And then make a bad decision. This is so harmful to put out there. It's misinformation. It's pseudoscience. And in my opinion, I just don't understand how anyone want to do that with their kid like I said your children your business but when you put it on the internet it becomes everybody's business and the latter of the comments I saw didn't agree with that if you are a mom I want to hear your opinion do you agree or disagree with waving essential oils in front of a newborn's face okay this one dance team requiring unique my daughter's dance team charges parents for a unique lip stain unless we already say we have it my daughter's last dance team teacher recommended a certain unique lip stain color. I googled the closest drugstore match. It was $9. And the teacher herself complimented me on how good her lips and makeup looked. So I must have gotten pretty close. I do not believe in supporting MLMs and I do not want to pay an inflated price so the teacher or one of her friends can line her pockets. It isn't an issue of cost. I have the money. But do I object on principle? We haven't been told the name of the shade, but should I ask, find a drugstore dupe, or say I have it already, or just suck it up and pay for it? Dance team is like 2000 a year, so 22 is isn't really going to make a difference in the overall price. What would your advice be? Mine? Stick to your guns. Get a drugstore dupe. Here's the thing. I guarantee the dance team coach is obviously a part of Unique, and she's just adding additional money to her pocket. These kids are already paying $2,000 a year, and now you want to promote your MLM. Girl, bye. I don't understand how people do not see that literally unique Mary Kay, Arbonne, all these people that put out makeup and skincare products. I don't see how people don't think they're overpriced. They have a markup of genuinely 40 to 60% above regular name brand companies. Go to CVS, Rite Aid, Walgreens, you'll get the same quality for $8. Go to Revlon. Revlon lipsticks are an exact dupe for Mary Kay. Unique eyeshadows, Maybelline. Same quality. I've been a makeup artist for 10 years, a decade in the game. I know what I'm talking about when I say this. It's abhorrently overpriced and they barely pay the consultants. You make this much on something that's priced at this margin in comparison to other companies. Me, if I was the mom, Girlfriend, I'm just gonna get a dupe. I'm gonna get a dupe and say, Hey, I got it. And if dance coach got a problem with me, then I can TikTok my way out of there. I don't need to be bothered. I'm not gonna support MLMs, period. And that's just so conniving. Like, these kids are already paying so much. But, girl. So, this is a message that one neighbor sent to another neighbor because her kids were going to her house giving out Sensi info packets during a pandemic. Hey, hey, come here. Remember, I have COVID, right? It's not a hoax. Pandemic. Listen to this. The subject line is kids giving out Scentsy in the area. Hey, as sweet as the little boy was who came up right to my husband and gave him a bag with Scentsy info in it, it made us feel very uncomfortable. We had a small baby with us and we are choosing to abide by the advice given about social distancing. It's not the time or the place to be giving these out in my opinion. He was going door to door and yes, he had gloves on, but still, how do I know if they haven't been in contact with others? Please respect other people's decisions to follow the rules and don't send your kids out in what could be a dangerous situation. Thank you. You remember when we were kids, or for all my followers that are older than me that do have children, you guys remember when kids would have to do the world's finest chocolate, how they wanted us to go door to door and sell this overpriced chocolate, and if we did, our parents would have to suffice the rest of the cost for the chocolate? I never really agreed with that. <laughs> I don't agree with having kids go out there doing dirty work 
for any business. Like how we did it for our school to fundraise for our schools. Kids should not be doing this for mommy and daddy's MLM. I don't see that as smart or safe. I'm just gonna keep it real. Especially during a pandemic. You send your kid to go to people's homes to promote your MLM. I wouldn't open the door. I don't know what the child is carrying from your home. I don't know what I have. Well, <laughs> I know now. But I wouldn't wanna put a child in harm's way right especially if i'm asymptomatic and i don't know i wouldn't want to greet that child touch that I, no no and it is so harmful you don't know somebody can snatch a kid up your children are not your employees that's pretty much the premise of this video your kids are not your employees they're your kids if you want to put yourself out there go door to door and talk about your mlm that it isn't even worth going to that extra mile because you're not making that much if you want to go out there and put yourself at risk do that you're stupid. You're not I'm smart. Not stupid. You're not smart. And then isolate yourself when you get home. But don't ever put your kids out there to do your work. Your children are not your employees. And the kid wouldn't have any benefit to that except possibly getting sick or snatched up. Child, uh, look. Maybe there's a reason I'm not a parent. Because I'm insane. And then this one. I think this is what I love the most. Being able to show my children that network marketing is the better way. Include her in everything that I do and still be here when they need me. It is stress free for my family, way cheaper than daycare. I do what I love. I get to be a mom and a boss. There's honestly nothing better. Don't ET me wrong. I work really, really hard and I will never cover that up. I work hard for my family on my terms. There's just nothing better than that. I truly believe there's nothing wrong with telling a kid whatever you set your mind to, you can achieve. I think we all should be telling children that. Point blank period. We want these kids to have their own mindsets, to grow, to develop whatever they want, to live the American dream for truly what it is. Having your kids involved in network marketing, in my opinion, is not smart. I don't know why you want to instill in a child such a hard business structure to be a part of. I think it's great that people can be home and they can work with their kids. But if your kid wants to be a business owner one day, show them the correct way. You know, start with the lemonade stand when COVID is over. <laughs> you know, start with something fundamental that really shows them the fruits of their labor. Hard, actual work. But they reap the benefits of the reward. They get majority of the profit, right? Minus what they paid for lemonade, the cups and everything like that, the rest is theirs. They put in their piggy bank and then they get empowered. They're like, wow, this is my business. What is wrong with that? They'd make more from the lemonade stand than they would with Unique, I'm just saying. I want our kids to feel like they are the future. And in order to do that, we have to instill in them that whatever they set their mind to, they can achieve. And we also have to instill in them correct business practices where they see the benefit for their hard work every single time but yeah hi girl that's gonna do it for me today you guys i greatly appreciate you hanging out with me today i am so sorry that i am under the weather but girl this covid stuff ain't no joke but we got a schedule and i'm gonna stick to it if you want to follow me on socials you can follow me on twitter and instagram at margaret angel xo my merch is still 15 percent off my patreon my podcast are linked down below stay safe wear your mask social distance i love you guys so much and i will catch you next time peace